All right, you're listening to 10 Minutes With. Today, we're lucky enough to have Jackson Ben, guitar player for Head PE. How you doing today, man? Very well. How about yourself? Good, man. Right. Glad you could take a little bit of time to join us tonight, man. It's an honor, man. Thank awesome, man. We appreciate it. How's the tour going so far? It's great. You know, we got our bus back, so that's great. Oh, uh, we cool. spent the first few shows with our bus broke down. Uh, on, an, uh, on an on-ramp on a Denver uh, freeway. Oh, wow. Well, I flew in, and the bus was, like, about halfway to pick us up from where it was. It had made it all the way to Denver from Cleveland. <laughs> wow. And, of course, the night that we flew in, it made it about maybe 10 miles to, uh, outside of the the, uh, the the airport, broke down on the uh, on, on the side of the freeway. So it was <laughs> it was gnarly, man, for the first right. few days. But on the, on the trek out to Vegas is when we finally got back on the bus and started rolling. Nice. So it's great. It's great to finally be on that thing and actually sleep while, while we're driving. You know? <laughs> yeah, so that's that. One of the parts, being on the road, you never know, huh? It's, I mean, the complications, anything can arise. But Well, this the bus is a, it's a 1993 Eagle, so it's a bit of a clunker, and there's, a, you know, even new buses break right, up yeah, constantly. Yeah. So right. I mean, there's definitely no surprise when it comes to, like, an older vehicle and stuff, especially when you're going around, you're touring, you're putting the miles oh, on there. Oh, tons of know? miles all over so, the I mean, US. it's already got over a million miles on it, so uh, it's Cool. no surprise. Nice. <laughs> Good deal. What's yeah. your favorite part of being out on the road, man? That one hour on stage. Nice. Basics. Huh? The other 23 hours are weird sometimes, but you know that <laughs> yeah. one hour, it's all about. Makes it all worth it. Good deal. Absolutely. Um, what age were you when you really realized you could shred? I don't know, man, because I really don't really consider myself a shredder. I, I mean, you really could you could really get down on the guitar. You know, you really, your chops were better than average. I mean, I, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, but, uh, you know, I I play leads and stuff, and sometimes I'll, I'll go a little faster than other times. But, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess the first solo I ever really learned was really simple, you know. It was a, it was a solo by uh, Mad Season, uh, right a song on. called I'm Above. And uh, it was really simple, just kind of pentatonic. And I remember the first time I ever, that was like the first actual lead I ever <laughs> like learned. And I felt really cool uh, actually being able to learn that. And, nice. Uh, you know, I do leads every once in a while. But, you know, it's nice to be able to kind of sit down with somebody maybe and, and say that I can do this and I can do that. You know, right. um, the ability... Uh, uh, um, the ability I have, I'm, I'm grateful for. Definitely. You know, but there's always room for improvement, and I honor that as well. You know, Dude. so it's, right on. it's it's great. Um, Who would you say is your most influential guitar hero? Randy Rhodes. Uh, Randy Rhodes or Ace Frehley? I'd probably say Randy Rhodes because uh, you know Ace Frehley kind of started me out and doing the pentatonics and stuff and learning a lot of that and uh, getting me really interested in that. Uh, but I'd say Randy Rhodes kind of. I mean, it's just that guy's guitar playing to me is yeah. always just, it's like the theme right. to, 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 my, to my life, my music, everything, you know what I mean? When it comes to his approach, it's just like, that guy's number one for me. Right on. Yeah, yeah tell us uh, about the new album. It came out in July uh, last year. Evolution. Um, Evolution. And uh, it came out through Pavement Records. And it's, you know, it's the first record we've put out in four years. Uh, you know, since Truth Rising, uh -huh. and uh, we're really proud of it, man. We took a different approach with it. You know, we tried more of like a doom metal, slow kind of classic approach to to, to the songs, as well as uh, as well as uh, some reggae songs at the end. Right on. So you know, we're really happy with it. Cool. I, I seen you guys here like four, three years ago, maybe. Um, and you guys ripped up the No Woman No Cry. Oh, right is on, that man. still in the arsenal? Are you guys pulling that out, or is you that know, just? You know, it's funny you mention that. It is. It is. Uh, we took it out for a while, brought it back in, took it out, brought it back in. So yeah. as of now, we've got it. We've got it in the repertoire. Yeah. Cool, man. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. So we might hear that tonight, then. I'd say it's a very good chance. <laughs> Rock very good on. Chance. Right on, man. I had a fan question on. We put it up on the Facebook, and um, the lead. Vote getter was a question of your favorite female guitar player. Right. It's tough to find because it's such a male dominated sort of uh, role in a band. Definitely. But there's so many out there, you know what I mean? Um, I was actually reading that question earlier and I had to think to myself, huh? Right what do I, what, what would it be? And the name that came to mind first was Jennifer Batten. Right on. You know, and she's, you know, she had a. She's, she's played with so many different huge acts, you know what I mean? And cool. she's just a shredder, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's also the Commander-in-Chief. That's another one as well. She plays a seven-string guitar, oh, wow. which is pretty cool. That's nice. So it makes it even more rare. Yeah, Not only rad. is she a female shredder, but she plays a seven-string guitar. So yeah, it's that's like, cool. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I would say maybe Commander-in-Chief, Jennifer Batten, you know? Cool. I couldn't really pick a favorite, though, but those two, those two tend nice. to come to mind pretty quick. And you guys were recently in Europe, right? Yes, yep. I mean, uh, can you give us, like, a highlight over there? I mean, 
Oh That's yeah. Cool. Well, you know, it was really cool for us because we went out with uh, you know friends of ours, the guys right. from Soil and American nice. Head Charge, and uh, we we had two different buses. Soil was on one, American Head Charge us, and then another band called Wolfborn were on the other. Got a chance to really just hang out a lot more than we normally would on a normal tour. Nice. Last time we had toured with American Head Charge, prior to that was with the Head to Head tour with Mushroom Head. But man, it was just yeah. a great time, man, because we were with our friends. We were hanging out, had a good time. I went up on stage with American Head Charge, played nice. Ridicule. Oh, tight. That was one of the highlights, honestly. We had right three on. guitar players on stage playing, like, oh, you man. know, just total, like, G3 stuff. And that was a lot of fun, man. That's cool, man. It was really cool, yeah. I mean, you, are the fans different over there? Or, like, American fans, it's all the same passion? Or? There's a lot of similarities, but there's a lot of differences. You, right on. You can tell the difference in culture and values, for mm. sure, and that's immediate. But um, there, there, there are a lot of similarities to go cool, along man. with the two, you know what I mean? What do you like to do when you get home, when you're off tour? I, mean, I, I like to do graphic stuff, art, you know, lounge nice. around. I like to watch TV, you know, with my girlfriend and stuff. <laughs> yeah. and kind of just take it easy because we don't really have much time off yeah, tour. Yeah, you guys are nowadays. constantly rocking, so, huh? Yeah, I try to make it a point to not really put a schedule on myself. Really, cool, man. That's you know? cool. <laughs> um, where do you see uh, Head P in three years? Man, continuing going on, man. Nice. We're going to put on the Dread P.E. thing. We're going to do a lot of reggae. We're going to keep putting out records. Definitely. Just pretty much do what we're doing now, you know cool, what I mean? Cool, man. Keep the word out. And uh, one more question. What's the best guitar riff ever written? Uh, I'd have to say, uh, I'd have to say maybe, shit, that's a tough one, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know. That's a really tough one, man. Maybe, uh, shit. Everyone's different. You know, there's so many. Maybe Sweet Child of Mine. There by, you go. By Slash. Nice. Ironically, that was a joke riff that he wrote. Wow. It's got a great lead to it. It's a great riff. It just sticks out in my head. When I was a kid, I first heard that. I was like, what yeah. the hell is this, man? It made me want that guitar, the Les Paul. That's oh, the one dude. I rock. It's nice. Slash. It's amazing, dude. Cool, yeah. man. Well, we just want to keep it short. Ten minutes with Jackson Benz. Yeah, lead guitar player for Head PE, man. Yes, thank sir. you. Hey, thank you, brother. That's awesome. Awesome. Right. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Just in time, too. Just in time. Hey, hey, one more, just for my son. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Thank you, guys.